walking along this road's got me in the mind to tell the story. You gotta duck away from the car from that thing. It's not this strange place, but wait, 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 wait. Many kilometers from here. Sorry, I started eating a cinnamon candy before I did it. Ooh, an abandoned structure. Ooh, stairs. Where for? How for? Ooh, it really is an abandoned structure. Whoa, these stairs, the rail kind of bends over the top. Now that's intriguing. Gotta save that for another time for the abandoned Japan channel. I gotta remember this and come back and explore that. Neat. I started a story, so let's keep on going. Gotta keep going. Also, I've had so many distractions today. I'm never gonna get anywhere. It's good that I've had this long intro. Because I gotta warn you, that this story is uh, is PG. Maybe R. Yeah, R. Yeah, definitely R. So if you're a kid, if you have kids with you watching the story, maybe don't don't let them watch anymore. And if you're a kid, don't let yourself watch anymore. I trust you. Yeah, I'll give you a moment to turn off. If you're, if, you're, if you're a really good kid, and you and you meet me in the future, I'll give you one of these cinnamon candies if you turn off. Okay. Yeah. That's right. But no cinnamon candy if you watch any further. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so, years, I mean, 20 plus years ago, I was walking along, actually skateboarding along the same road, long, long way from here, kilometers away, same road, tunnels are making me remember. I had a surfboard under one arm, I was skateboarding along, you know, just pumping along, <laughs> having a great old time going to, going to the beach to do some surfing. I was living living in a factory up the coast, mm, ball bearing factory called Minabea. And ooh, abandoned televisions. I'll have to show you guys that. It's quite the safe street as soon as it's safe. Like I said, it's good that I'm having this prologue. Let's <laughs> take a look at these abandoned TVs. Um, anywho, I got, while well, I was going along, now there's a trail up there. I'll bet there's an abandoned farm up there. And these are definitely dead TVs. Look at that. Those things are dead as you could possibly imagine. Mm. So, anyway, this car stopped. That wasn't hitchhiking. And it turned out it was a um, some surfers. Young people my age, a little younger maybe, at that, than I was at that time. I was probably 25 at the time. Maybe these guys were 20, 20, 22 or something. Uh, a couple of guys, two guys and a girl. And, um, oh, she was hot, smoking. And, um, they, uh, we, they were all done surfing for the day, but they offered to give me a ride, um, and to where I was, to, to, to the direction that, that they were going, which I was going in the same direction. So I just said, sure. So we got in the car, we were talking, you know, having a good old time laughing and stuff, and suddenly, the guy sitting next to me, and the girls, up there in the front seat, and the one guy's driving, and the guy sitting next to me, he declares that it's time to see who... Wow, abandoned shed, abandoned farm stuff, more abandoned farm stuff, just everywhere. You just can't turn around without, that whole thing is, that whole one is swallowed by the forest. Look at that. That whole thing is swallowed by the forest. And the fence here, no one's been through that fence for a long time. Bedding stuff, wow, amazing. So that guy decides, he declares it's time for us to stand up. Who's the bigger man? Now listen to the words I used carefully. I said, I chose them carefully. And who's the bigger man? <laughs> And we ain't talking about stature. At least not vertical. Well, somewhat perpendicular, maybe. I hope all the kids are gone. <laughs> okay, I'll try to get through the rest with, with the utilization of innuendo rather than any explicit vocabulary. Let's see if I can pull that off with a, with a cinnamon candy in my mouth. He, he declared that he wanted to have a contest and that the, the girl could be the judge. And... He he started unbuckling his um, the the his suspension apparatus for his uh, for his lower garment um, um, uh, f faculties. Yeah, that's not such a good word, but what, it works. Yeah, you get the meaning. Oh, this is going a bunch of stuff back up there. Started undoing all that stuff and proposed that I do the same. And he was dead serious. And <laughs> I was going, whoa, taking aback. You know, I was look at the there's an abandoned farm up there. There's the abandoned machinery right there. These cables would go up. There's a tram station. Go up. You know, you've seen this kind of stuff before. My videos. Woohoo! There's a farm up there somewhere. Something great to explore sometime, but not today. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. You were talking about like, you know, you know, the, um, you know, E X P O S 
E-R of our M-A-N-H-O-O-D. Well, that's not innuendo, but hopefully too, too many uh, combinations of syllables there for the little ones. Yeah, exactly. He said he wanted to know which of us was not only longer, but he also wanted to measure girth. I, I don't know how he didn't... He didn't know he didn't know how to say girth in English and I didn't know what girth meant in Japanese. And there's an abandoned house. Check this out. But he 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 used um he used gestures. You know, nonverbal uh nonverbal nonverbal uh, sing- utilization is an excellent way of communication. Use gestures to describe it and then the girl in the front was kind of nodding her head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well check this out, we gotta step through here. Right through the threshold into this abandoned house. Look at the light there. Wow. Oh, beehives. And bees. And stairs. And tiles. And more beehives. Do I trust it? Well, I guess if the farmer comes out here to tend his bees, it's probably safe enough. More better stuff. Stairs down in the air. Oh, isn't this awesome? This really is abandoned Shangri La hike. Japanese honeybees over there. I wonder if they're the indigenous. They must be. They have the ability to withstand the attack of the. Suzume Bachi. Okay, we won't, we won't pester the bees. We won't pester. Oh, not pester. Great, someone must have lived here. The whole place must have just collapsed down into the forest. So he, he made it clear to me that he wanted to measure in, in two, he wanted to have two scales of measure to compare. And he was, he was, um, he was unbuckling his uh, thing. He was ready to do it. The girl was smiling. She really wanted, I wonder what people see if they turn, drive by and they look over here and they see me stand here. I think there was a ghost, a diving ghost. There we go, over the edge. There we go, hey, there's another door. Those guys saw me creeping out from inside. Mm-hmm. Oh, where's that go? There's. So, <laughs> now, I'll tell you, I'm not a prude, and I'm, I'm, an, I'm, an inter- I'm an experimental guy. I didn't do it, okay? I didn't do it. Why didn't I do it? Oh, the road. I didn't know that road was there. Gotta go check that out sometime. Explore where that goes. Wow, check. There's so much to see. You know, but you know, and at that age, I, would, I probably would have done it. But I didn't because um, I was, like I said, I was 25 or 26 maybe, and I was, um, you know, I was dating Yumiko. And uh, I was in Japan to be with her. I came to Japan to be with her. I was finishing college. This is my second time in Japan. And I came to Japan to be with her. And that's the whole reason I was here. And I'm a loyal guy. I'm a faithful guy. I don't mess around. If I'd been single, I probably would have uh, gone on for, for, for the competition. And uh, hopefully gone home with a, with a gold ribbon. Not, not tied... <laughs> not tied around, maybe. But then that would have been really interesting. Now, I've... <clears throat> I mean, she was hot. I'm going to end on that. Before I get myself into any more of a sticky wicket than I already have. Oh, look, more abandoned stuff up there. Good. Okay. Time to, time to go say goodbye, kids. If, you, <laughs> if you're gone, you can come back now. I'm going to talk about insects and flowers and, um, and, and, and the joy of living and exploring shortly in more videos. But I hopefully, uh, hopefully this video is safe and not too over the top. Well, I guess for the YouTube bullet train, you know, I would never post this kind of stuff on the Softy Papa channel, but for the YouTube bullet train, I mean, hey, you know, it's, you know, this is, this is, this is the, this is the, I don't know, there's no rating on this channel. Oh, more tram station. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day. Well, I'll make it loose. Watch out for these cars. I'm going to step into the side, into the weeds, so this, this Mercedes doesn't run me over.